The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Zach, this is Crystal Palace. St. Norad has declared DEFCON 3. Scramble all alert aircraft. I repeat, scramble all alert aircraft. The Whopper spends all its time thinking about World War III. Target selection complete. Time on target sequence complete. 22 Typhoon class submarines departing Petropavlovsk, turning southbound at North Cap, bearing 095 degrees. Radar reports two unknown tracks are penetrating the Alaskan air defense zone. From the front lines of the information war. Flush the bombers, get the subs in launch mode. We are at DEFCON 1. Are you prepared to destroy the enemy? You bet! Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic. We'll keep control, but we'll keep it here at the top where it belongs. Three, two, one. Impact. Shall we play a game? How about... Global Thermal Nuclear War. Live from the InfoWars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. All units confirm weapons targeted and ready, awaiting launch codes. We are in a launch mode. Do you really believe that the enemy would attack without provocation? If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We're in. Russians are still denying everything, sir. We have a Soviet submarine launch detection. I wish I didn't know about any of this. I wish I was like everybody else. Games and The only winning move is not to play. As Bob Dylan says, the globalists play with our lives like we're little toys, or to quote, to 
To quote another song, the generals gather in their masses just like witches at black masses. They play with our lives just like pawns in chess. Wait till their judgment day comes. The politicians never go out and fight. They only started the wars. Treating people just like pawns in chess. Wait till the judgment day comes. I have ultra massive First Amendment news that I'm going to cover and then go right back to your phone calls here in just a moment. First off, it was so popular, 15% off. Super Melt Vitality, that's just eight really high-powered, clean, organic, concentrated herbs that help block the estrogen mimickers, according to the research, uh, and help your glands produce the normal hormones you need. And it's helped me work out harder. It's helped me have more stamina. Uh, I'm not the most photogenic person, but people can even see on TV. Man, Alex Jones looks younger. Alex Jones looks better. Shane Steiner got so big on it, and then he decided for three weeks to try to cut up himself you know, uh, by dieting, which he's never been able to do. And now the guy looks 15 years younger. He's coming in next week, and uh, he has taken more than the recommended dose, but he, he swears by it. And, and again, we only sell the best stuff out there. They're putting things in the food and water. There's environmental issues. This has had an incredible effect. You've heard the rave reviews, whether it's the nascent iodine proprietary, only type like it, uh, that helps the glands and, and has just been so incredible for my uh, mental focus or whether it's the fluoride shield, that's the nation iodine and five other compounds to detoxify, not just fluoride, but heavy metals and other things, Grignard reagents, uh, that's amazing. You will have a detox effect in the first few weeks. So consult your doctor. I mean, this is not a joke. This is a chelator. And so we've also got the new silver bullet, the strongest, most powerful nano silver we could get produced. Took us six months to finally get this produced. Uh, so it's the InfoWars Life brand, silver bullet. And the laboratory we had make it that's been around for decades said it is the most powerful silver they've ever made. So they insisted, and I agree to have on the bottle, not for regular use. Consult your physician before you use it. But with super bugs out there, you know what I've got loaded in my emergency area and in my medicine cabinet? You guessed it, colloidal silver. Colloidal silver. Colloidal silver. And this is a lot stronger than what you can make in your house. And that's good to have, too, because it's fresh. InfoWarsLife.com. But we're bringing back after it being gone for a week because the truck came in yesterday and we've got more. I, I don't just believe it when people say the truck's leaving tomorrow and, you know, uh, we got it produced. I don't, I don't just, I, 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 stuff goes back on sale and, you know, we stop seeing backordered when the truck shows up, when it's offloaded, when it's in the warehouse. It's here in the air-conditioned warehouse. Super male vitality, 15% off. Right now, and your purchase helps support the InfoWar. InfoWarsStore.com will get you the main shopping cart, but InfoWarsLife.com will take you right to the subsection. Or call toll-free, 888-253-3139. We're coming out with a super female vitality. I don't even know that'll be the name. And it's just the herbs are tweaked a little bit because groups think this formula might be a little bit better for women. All I know is this has more of an effect on women than it does on men because women are so attacked. The main hormone attack is targeting them. And by all the experts we've talked to, from Dr. Blaylock, brain surgeon, you name it, across the board, Sherry Tenpenny, it's targeting women. It just has the blowback effect on men, the estrogen stuff. Uh, women, this is uh, like catnip in our experience. And I'm just saying, warning, it's not a game, it's not a joke. This is what you're normally supposed to be like. So um, <laughs> just get a bottle and see what I'm talking about. I don't sell crud, everybody knows that. Infowarslife.com. Now... This is a really serious situation. Matt Drudge, and in fact, try to pull this up. I meant to do this. Just type in Matt Drudge uh, calls Dianne Feinstein uh, a fascist. I believe that was the quote, or an authoritarian. Or Matt Drudge lashes out at, at, at Senator Feinstein. I remember that a few months ago when this bill got introduced. It's passed. And if you read it, it's all sold like, you know, the Affordable Care Act is going to increase your prices. Or the Patriot Act is really patriotic. It destroys America's checks and balances and the whole Bill of Rights. Well, it's the same thing with this Journalism Protection Act. It destroys journalist uh, protections. There's the headline from World Net Daily. Matt Drudge eviscerates fascist Dianne Feinstein. New media pioneer Matt Drudge called Senator Dianne Feinstein a fascist 
after she suggested only real reporters, close quote, deserve protection under the new media shield law. We already had law shielding media. So they bring in a new law to shield it, which gets rid of the shield. Comments from Senator Feinstein yesterday on who's a reporter were disgusting, Drudge tweeted, adding that a 17-year-old blogger is as important as Wolf Blitzer. Well, yeah, I agree with that. I mean, Wolf Blitzer is totally discredited uh, government mouthpiece. Now, that passed the Senate. I don't know if it'll pass the House because, you know, those nasty Republicans that are trying to repeal Obamacare and trying to save the Second Amendment and trying to protect our borders, those nasty libertarian Republicans that are fighting with blue blood, John Boehner, a.k.a. Boner, a.k.a. McGarrett. I mean, all of this is going on, and I'm telling you, if we didn't have those House Republicans, our goose would be cooked royally. What do they call that, where they stuff multiple animals in them and then roast them, or to Duncan? You, you know, you got our kids' future, our financial future, our future, all stuffed into one creature and put in the Obamacare oven. Well, now, here's the article by Kurt Nemo, just went up at Infowars.com. Senate has voted to pass law shielding corporate journalists. It doesn't even really do that. Legislation designed to put damper on alternative media. And that's a great headline by Kurt, but I would say Senate passes law defining corporate journalists as only media. Or, I mean, how do you, how do you properly, there's no way it's so horrible. I guess his headline's right. It just states what they've done. Um, Senate passes law defining journalism, eviscerating new media protections. I, I don't know. I guess Kurt's headline's right. Senate has uh, voted, or Senate has votes, excuse me, I was reading that wrong, to pass law shielding corporate journalists. So they haven't passed it, but they say they have the votes to be technical and correct there. Legislation designed to put damper on alternative media. Then they now say it's a formality to pass it. New York Democrat Senator Chuck Schumer said today the Senate has the votes to pass a bill that will protect corporate journalists from court-issued demands to reveal their sources. The White House, Democrats and Independents, and five Republicans in the Senate support passing the legislation. The law will protect, quote, covered journalists defined as an employee, independent contractor, or agent of an entity that disseminates news or information according to the Associated Press. In other words, if the law is enacted, citizen journalists and bloggers not affiliated with corporations may be subpoenaed and forced by law to reveal sources. The First Amendment does not explicitly protect journalists. However, the 1970s, most states had shield laws in place to protect journalists from revealing their sources and going to jail for failure to do so. Well, yeah, if you're exposing criminal or corrupt activity, you're protected. However, with the rise of the Internet journalism outside the controlled arena of establishment and corporate media, the government began to consider making a distinction between citizen journalists and, quote, official, that's a quote, or professional journalists. If passed, there will be two standards of journalism in the United States. Citizen journalists, I mean, they always say we're not real media. I've got 50 crew members and break news every day that goes international and I'm a recognized news source, but they... They don't give us press passes to any big major events. They say, no, no, InfoWars is just, we're not issuing it. No, no, you're not media. Google says we're not media, has us delisted off news, because we are real news. And then also have a pundit hat as a radio host. And I'm going to get into really key stuff here in a moment. Citizen journalists and bloggers will be held to one standard as corporate media journalists will be held to another. The former may go to jail if attempting to protect sources from government intimidation and legal action while they spy on the media. We should add Drudge's tweet and his warning to this, ask Kurt to. Add, you can show him the World Net Daily article, add Drudge's tweet in a little tweet box, and then uh, maybe link to that Pentagon announcement they're going to go after the alternative media uh, from four months ago. Very important article by Kurt Nemo. Now, we're going to go to your calls in a moment, but that ties into this stack. This is out of the Daily Caller. Conservative professor who was denied promotion wins First Amendment lawsuit. The uh, First Amendment enthusiasts are thrilled that Mike Adams, a criminology professor at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington, won his lawsuit against administration who deemed and denied him a pro, uh, promotion based on his conservative Christian views. Adams joined the university in 93. He was an atheist at the time. By the year 2000, he had converted to Christianity and became an outspoken political conservative. He eventually wrote columns for Town Hall. 